Hello and welcome back. I'm Harish, and in this channel, I talk about building anything without coding. And this episode is part of the series where I'm going to show you how to build conversational apps using TypeBot.io. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a email opt-in uh, conversation app where people can subscribe to your newsletter or just give you their email for you to reach out to them in the future, right? With that, let's get started. All right, now that you have an account on TypeBot, if you don't have one, please sign up for one. Let's create a TypeBot first, right? And let's do start from scratch. And the first step is, this is a basic email opt-in template, right? So we're just gonna show the user an email input field and get the email from the user and show a thank you message, right? Very simple, straightforward, very basic. So the first step is capture email. So we'll do input email and then say email opt-in as the group name. This really doesn't matter, but if you have a, a conversational app with a lot of blocks and a lot of uh, connections, it is ideal to have group names. And the other advantage is also if you have multiple things that you want to say before the user responds, it is ideal to put them in a group. Otherwise, the picture of the chatbot keeps showing multiple types, right? So I'll just link it here and then say type your email. You can change the placeholder to whatever you want to say, right? Give me your email can be one and let's change the label to subscribe and yeah. And uh, we'll store this in user underscore email as the variable, just say create variable and the user's details are stored in that variable, right? Now, before this, let's show a simple message to the user saying, please enter your email to subscribe to our weekly newsletter. Always good to show the user that you're not going to spam them, right? Let's also quickly check if the user has entered the email or not and then show them, them a thank you message, right? So we'll do condition block here as a separate one and then link it here. And then in the configure section, let's add a comparison. And in this, we'll select user underscore email is set. If it is not set, we'll show an error message. If it is set, we'll show a thank you message. Simple, right? Now, if it is set, Right, we'll do a message saying thank you for subscribe. If it is set here, right, if not, let's do another block. Please try again. We'll send the user here, and then from here, we'll send show the form again. Now let's quickly preview this and see if it works or fix anything if required, right? We'll do enter the email or not enter the email. If, okay. Clearly, if your the user is not entering the email, this won't go through. So I think uh, the logic of checking if it works or not will not happen. Let's quickly enter an email and uh, check subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. That's it. That's how you create a bot. And once you publish this, you will be able to see the results or all the emails under the results section. If you want to send these details to an external tool, you can use uh, the Zapier integration that is available or integrate with Google Sheets, which is coming up in the next video. We'll look at how to send data from TypeBot to your own Google Sheet, where you want to store all the information about the conversations that are happening in your app. If you found this uh, useful, drop a like below and consider subscribing because this channel is all about building without coding. See you in the next one. Peace.